Hi, my name is William, and in today's video, we're going to be doing a website audit for iAuto Agent. Once again, my name is William. We're going to be doing an audit for a company called iAuto Agent. This is a website audit. So, first things first, I use this tool. It's called Website Auditor. It's by um, link assistant.com. Run a just technical SEO audit just to see where you are at um, if there's any open issues major issues etc and then I'll do a visual audit so we can take a look at everything as well let's go through this real quick it generally doesn't take too long sometimes it takes longer depending on if it's an e-commerce site if it's not an e-commerce site I personally don't really do too much work with e-commerce so um, you won't be seeing too many of this okay uh, we'll go through this, let this run <clears throat> while well, it's running. We'll look at the site. So first things first, this is going to be more like a nationwide um, dealership franchise type company. OK, um, first things first, if I was at this site, you always want, always, always, always you want a sticky header. So when someone's scrolling, a sticky header means that this menu will follow you as you scroll. Now you may ask, why would you want that bill? Well, you want that because most people, they could have seen your phone number up here as soon as you come, and but once they're down here, they don't see your phone number. They're like, well, how do I call this dude? Well, your phone number is nowhere to be found, so they'll usually just leave the page. That's what we call high bounce rate. That's what we call leaving money on the table. You don't want to do that, okay? So some things I do like, you got your social media feed up here. Um, how it works, you know, it gives you that information, how to buy, sell, dealer info. I like the fact that you're featuring where you've been at, which you've been seen on ABC's, you know, Fox, et cetera, et cetera. Um, you have these nice little buttons that pop out, you know, colors pop out, which is cool. Um, sell your car, buy a car. You have your reviews linked over to Google, Facebook, Car Gurus, Better Business Bureau, great. Have these little doodly videos here pretty cool let's go over to your youtube channel and see if it's optimized or what i call optimized at least um, for the most part so if we go in here and go to about us information you got this information you got one link you don't have your location you don't have your gmb in here so you need some help with that you do have your website link that's about it but we want to always we can actually put our gmb link in here other offer links in here Go to playlist. Let's look at that. Um, you don't really have your playlist optimized. I can look at list A. Let's go just this one, right? You know, it's not optimized. You want the description optimized, your tags optimized. Um, let's go. Let's just grab any one of these videos. If I look at this video, you should have timestamps in here. You don't have timestamps. You should have your business name up in here, your brand name, which is iAutoAgent.com. You should have that at the end. Um, you should have your latitude and longitude in here. There's multiple, multiple opportunities you're missing. You don't have your timestamps in here. You don't have your keywords embedded with your timestamps. You have no comments going on in here. Uh, only one like. I mean, there's multiple things we could do as far as optimizing your YouTube channel. So, but the good news is you actually have videos. You actually do have that. You've got quite a few of them. Most people don't even have that. Okay, so we want to get as many videos in here as possible. Your BMW for sale. Once again, I'd want to have my business name, my auto agent in here, and your title, timestamps, information latitude longitude your name address phone number location etc all that information you need in there okay <clears throat> now let's go back here it's about 45 percent done let's go back over to the website all right so we do all the work you don't have to it's a little bit of information but there's no call to actions after each of these input of data which you want okay do you have your gmb here this is a pretty cool feature i've seen Okay, you do have your review here, but what we want is we want this embedded here. 
And then we want to also our reviews embedded and hyperlink back to their user's profile. So we want our, our reviews embedded as a GMB you know, embed. Then we also want textual embeds and link back over to the user's profile. I like the fact you got your videos in here as well. Okay. Let's see some more as far as your pages. To me, I mean, overall, it looks good, but you don't have enough content. Content meaning, you know, A, why should I choose you over everybody else? B, I want information that's going to feed the Google bots regarding what you actually do. You sell vehicles for business fleets, uh, for consumers. You also buy them, okay? Um those are all things that you want to get as much content as possible in here, some tips and guides. And we do that if you want to see a sample of what I'm referring to. You can go to Sod Installation St. Louis and you can see the tips and guides. I also would want to put my service location pages. If you have multiple GMBs or you service multiple locations, I want location pages all attached to multiple GMBs. Um, if you don't have separate websites for it. All right, and then we can go over here to your GMB right here. And let's look at your GMB. So on your reviews, you are responding to your reviews. Always give Google happy signals and put thumbs up or upvotes on all your reviews. Okay. Thumbs up, thumbs up. I like the emojis being put in here. That's excellent. Perfect, perfect. Okay, and you're using more personalized responses, not some generic responses, which is great. Okay, you have your products in here. Most people don't realize you can put about a thousand words of uh, content inside your products. Link it back over to your website, which you're doing. That's great. You always want to have, I tell people, at least post five days a week. You're mainly posting like some memes and funnies, which is cool and all that, but you don't want to do it like constant, 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 constant. Okay, that's a little bit ridiculous, but maybe it's working for you. I don't know. Um, it's just not how we do it. Let me go back over here. Once this is done running, I will send this over to you. It's going to take a bit of time, but we could also do one other one. So this is I Auto Agent, Chesterfield, Missouri. Let's go to local Falcon. And you are a car dealer. And this is for new, you're going to sell used cars or sell your used cars. Um, you're also um, selling, you sell fleets, business vehicle, you know, let us sell your business vehicle for a price you love at zero cost to you. So overall, what I'm seeing is that you sell and you also buy used cars, right? <clears throat> so what we're going to do, we're going to log in here. And we're going to run this report while our audit's wrapping up. Let's run a scan. And we're going to search for new location search. Hopefully it pulls it up and then we'll run this for you real quick. It's going to be for used cars. Let's say sell used cars or sell used car. Right. Sell used car. Run the scan. Okay, it's almost done. We're at 92%. And then once this is done, I'm going to send this report over to you as well. We're going to wait on this local Falcon report to get done running. Basically, a local Falcon report or what we call a GeoGrid report will show us how well we're ranking, right? Which you're ranking very well, you know, for that specific term. Selling used cars, used car. Maybe you want to go for business fleets, sell your business via, you know, or another keyword. I can only go based off of what I see on here. 
fact that you got so many reviews and everything, to me, what you're doing looks really good. Um, overall, I like the branding. I like the colors. There's only a few tweaks I would add as far as technical, if you will, SEO, because you're doing really good. Um, mind you, this is in, I believe, I want to check this and make sure, right? That is only in a five kilometer radius. Now, if I wanted to increase my radius, we can do that as well. And we'll do that while this report's running, but let's go from metric to Imperial. So that's five miles, but let's say most people when they're buying a vehicle are coming, let's say 20 miles or so away. And let's run the scan for Sella used car once again and see how we come up. Because what we want is, and what we generally do is we'll dominate that little two and a half, five mile radius. And then we start expanding our radius. And once we start expanding our radius, you know, what happens is exactly what you see on the screen is you don't dominate. But what we want is we want to dominate that entire 20 mile radius. There are businesses we work with that we dominate a 40 mile radius. So you're not dominating. Um, we're going to need to do some one page content and website structuring, location pages, etc., <clears throat> which we've already went over. Some other things that we would do as well, if we look at this website and we just went here, I use this little tool, it's called <clears throat> SEO Meta in one click and it'll show me everything. For example, you do have one H1 header, which is this right here, um, real estate agent for used cars, which doesn't really tell me what you're trying to rank for. I'd want it to be, let's say maybe it's used car dealership in a specific city. Um, in your case, you're in Chesterfield, Missouri. Okay, are your images appropriately? They're not. Um, specifically appropriately named, I mean by keyword and your location. You know, the other things we're going to look for is your anchor text on your, your internal linking. The other thing I'm going to look at is your page speed as far as um, your website. So that's the next thing I'll look at and it's running right now. And we'll see if you pass on that. That's going to be a big factor. Google's latest algorithm update was regarding your core vitals. So once that's done running, we'll let you know. Um, overall on your report, I'll give you this and I'll mail this over to you. You have 4,200 issues. You have quite a bit of issues. Um, <clears throat> you have 104 error, errors, which means you have some broken links. You have 302 redirects, 301 redirects. Um, it is not mobile friendly. You have mo some mobile issues that need to be fixed. You have 61 broken links. Broken link basically means I go to go to one and it goes to 404 page and says page can't be found, or image can't be found. You have an empty meta description. You have multiple duplicate meta descriptions. The meta description is whenever I look at your site what am I seeing up here? You see that little pop up. Okay. It's saying that you have multiple duplicate meta descriptions. So you got 4,200 issues. We want to fix that. I'm going to email this over to you as well. Then once again, on your page insights, you don't pass core vitals. So we need to fix that. Um, you score one of the lowest scores I've seen, which is a 20 or a 25. Let's look on the back end of your website. Okay, it is built with bootstrap. Okay, so I'd probably want to wind up rebuilding this website to get it to pass core vitals, seeing that this is a major ranking factor. And then also to increase this as well. And then I'm going to send this all over to you. Please let me know if you have any questions. Once again, my name is William Jones. And today we were doing a website audit for iAuto agent. If you'd like a more in-depth audit, then what you're going to wind up doing is you're going to wind up going to rankfortruths.com and the top right hand side it will say speak to William and if you ever want to speak to me you just book an appointment for an in-depth deep dive onto your GMB and website audit. 
Okay, and that's $97. I appreciate you guys. I hopefully answered some questions. Be blessed and have a great day. Once again, please like and subscribe. Like the channel, like the video, subscribe to the channel. If you really want to show us some love, share this video across your social media outlets. Have a great day.